What up everybody, welcome to another video, this is Marcy Leon and uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, the Red Paladin 5.4 changes, I mean the first glimpse for, for them and also the gear. Now let's start with the gears, now I have this, uh, this male model, human model, now I honestly want to know your opinion about the gear, I don't know, it's okay -ish, I guess but I have a little bit problem with the helmet. It's kind of pointy, man. It looks like a fucking oven. Like, I don't know. I mean, without the helmet, I think it looks really fine. Look, let's check it out. Yeah, it's okay without the helmet, definitely. But let's uh, just wait till I'll, I'll, I'll log in my female uh, character so you can see how that shit looks. Like, that helmet on a female model? Oh my god, man. Looks like a fucking big head. Okay, so there you go. I logged in my female panel. Look at that shit. Look at that helmet, man. It's too fucking big for the body. It's okay for the male, but god damn it, I don't like the helmet. I mean, it's not the worst gear they ever made for us. I'm sure I can think of something even worse, but come on, man. I mean, seriously, where does where does where does she look like through all of this? I don't know. But anyways, enough with the gear, man. Let's just remove that fucking helmet off, and we're good to go. Now about the paladin changes, some. Some awesome now. A lot of people, you know, ask me on comments and uh, on personal messages, yo, why don't you make a video about the changes? What's your thoughts? Uh, I want to hear them. Blah blah. blah. Well, the thing is, man, uh, I read them and I didn't get too excited about them. Uh, don't get me wrong, they're awesome changes overall, but as you know, in traditional Blizzard way, this will probably will not go live. Not all of it. I mean. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the turn evil change, you know, paladins get in the fear and all of that, uh, instead of the slow. Now, I, uh, I was uh, amazed to see how many paladins, uh, PvP-wise, complain about removing the slow. Uh, you know, that slow isn't that much, guys. I mean, seriously, we got a pretty decent slow with our Seal of Justice. It, I mean, I don't know, like, any high-rated paladin you ever use it, Burden of Guild. Maybe, maybe rarely in cases where, I don't know. But seriously, everybody used like Fist of Justice, a 30 second stun come on. So I'm pretty glad they removed the slow from, from there. Uh, now don't don't get me started with, you know, the, the, the fact that we always ask for a slow. We did get a fucking slow into our Seal of Justice. Probably you guys don't remember how Seal of Justice worked back uh, before Mr. Pandaria. You could have only stopped them from sprinting, not slowing them down. Now it slows them by 50%, so come on guys, fuck that burden of guilt. So we get a fear. Now I am pretty sure they won't we're gonna make this instant, okay? So if they're gonna make it like the same cast time as Repentance, I really don't see the point, really. I mean, of course, it's a fear. Uh, it can, you know, make people run away and all the way into Africa and shit like that, but Still, I wouldn't enjoy that much if it was on cast. I mean, name one fucking melee that would cast a CC. I mean, you don't see warriors cast CCs. Uh, I mean, okay, Shadow and Throw, but that's a different story. Um, you don't see, uh, I don't know, DKs cast them, rogues on that matter, uh, monks. So, seriously, I don't, I, I, I don't see the point if this is gonna be on cast. They did say they're gonna do, like, less instant CCs, but we shall see. If, uh, if glyphed it will be instant, it will be pretty fucking awesome. If you have like a, a 1 minute hodge, a uh, 2 minute blind and I don't know, 30 second or 40 second, I don't know what the cooldown is going to be if glyphed. But if this is going to be on instant but on a bigger cooldown, that's going to be cool. Now, uh, a more important change in my opinion is the Unbreakable Spirit one, which now reduces the cooldown of Bubble. Uh, lay on hands and yeah, divine protection by 50%. Now that's awesome. Divine protection cooldown is being reduced to 30 seconds. That's really, really good, Trinkity. especially against mages, deep freezes. No, we can basically always have divine protection when we get into a deep freeze, uh, which is really good. Still, a lot of mages can get past that, but it's a good thing to have. Now the bubble change is also really nice, especially if you like if you play twos with a healer, you always get log matches and shit. And you know a bubble is always good on a lower cooldown. Now I'm thinking like in threes, it depends on a comp really. It's still clemency is really is gonna be really used, but it actually will depend a lot on the comp you're gonna play. So we'll see about that. 
Another, another thing they changed is was to hand the purity. They added an extra 10% to the 70% uh, damage reduction on dots, uh, which is really good. Like sometimes I tend to use this talent when we're facing heavy dot teams, like say for example Affliction Warlock and Unholy DK or shit like that. All right, another awesome change I think is really awesome this time is the cooldown of Guardian of Ancient Kings got dropped down to three minutes. Uh, be that the stacks only maxed out now for 12 but I'm just thinking on my experience so far and guys it's a rare case you, you get to use your your guardian stacks at full capacity I mean you probably get to about 10 or 12 anyways when you pop your burst sometimes you don't even wait for that it depends especially on red hunter disc when you play in this comp so um, yeah, people people are actually complaining about this being a nerf. Uh, fuck it, man. The cooldown reduction for this is really good. Now this hard, this guardian can hit uh, like 30. I see 30k, sometimes 40k in arenas, and also adds that that sweet debuff. 12 stacks, that's enough for me. And uh, just I'm really happy that the cooldown is being reduced. Now once again, I'm not really all hyped up with about any of the changes because it is the fucking first wave of information, and it's really and it's really susceptible to not going live, to, to change or whatever. So don't get too hyped about it. Uh, out of all of this, I'm really curious about the, the the turn evil change. If they're gonna make it instant or on cast, I don't know how useful it will be if it's gonna, it's gonna if it's gonna share the same cast time as repentance. Oh, and I almost forgot the Inquisition change. Um, I'll this, I don't know, it, it, this this gonna make a, a, a little bit of more DPS for us because now uh, if you use like three holy powers for Inquisition, you get it up for one minute. And that's basically more, I don't know, World of Glories or Templar Verdicts and it's really a good improvement on your damage, okay? So now it lasts for 20 seconds per holy power okay that means one minute and that means more dps or more heals so really good thing really good change this one as well i like it anyways uh tell me what you guys think uh, in the comments below uh, i tested this shit out like the damage is still there good damage no problem uh, a little bit worked on the sustain now because of the lower cooldown of the guardian of ancient kings and all of that a little bit more survivability because of the unbreakable spirit but again this is gonna all depend on what comp you're gonna play um seeing people right now on the ptr playing threes like resto shaman um red paladin and feral druid actually and they're doing good on the ptr i haven't played arenas on the ptr just some duels and shit but i'm not that big of a duel guy so uh, i didn't put much thought in into that but it was nice to fear warlocks especially <laughs> Um, okay guys, thank you very much for watching, please once again, uh, throw your thoughts into the comments, be sure to like the video and be subscribed, and peace out motherfuckers!